to another segment of Rooster's art. Just putting some extra details in the mask uh, from Spider-Man. Uh, friendly web slinger. Initially, I did the whole mask and face and everything else, pre-drawn everything out on a previous video. But right now, what I'm doing, I'm just laying in some smaller details in that I see need to be to make it look more realistic. Uh, let me zoom this here in. Oh, see, I'm making a mess up right here. Zoom it out. Wait a minute. This is where I'm at right now. Hope everybody's weekend is going good. Mine is going super fast. It was just Friday, now it's Sunday. With this here, I'm just covering up the whole area. Then I'm gonna come back in and put in his shape his arms and everything else too. That's my reference photo over on the left hand side. This is a fun program, a really fun program. Easy to use, uh, you can't really mess up with it. <laughs> you really can't. All I'm doing right now is rotating. and laying in the colors. And then I'm gonna come back and put the rest of the detail in. It's like overlay. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Uh, I apologize for that. I need to get some better equipment, but this is all I have right now, my hands. I'm changing the colors up a, a tad, a little more. I'm trying to place a little more vibrant colors in it. You know, not to say I want to change it too much, but that's my style. Kind of a glare. Oh, that's a good fit. On the profile selection screen, choose a profile. Norman, one of five profiles. Press left to edit this profile. Okay, welcome back to Roos's Art. I'm trying to finish this drawing up right here. I'm putting in this area right in that area right there. And the program I'm using is called Procreate. Got my colors look like a little bit more vibrant than the one that they actually have here. Let me 
either way, they still look pretty not pretty good. I'm setting my pencil uh, thickness. Doing a lot of freehand. With my uh, Procreate. And I'm doing that because I don't actually know all the little gits, uh, gadgets that they do have on it. I mean, I do around with them, but I have my natural artistic skills and I'm utilizing what I know. So that's a, a big difference right there. I said before, this program is really fun and user-friendly to work with. I enjoy it. Oh, when I first started, I didn't think uh, it would be this much fun. I thought it would be kind of boring, whatever, but it is, wow, when I tell you, it's so fast to complete a drawing or, that you have. It's unbelievable. Doing that now. I'm increasing that to about maybe 3% for this little small area right here. And I tell anybody, uh, try it and see how you like it. Stay with all drawings or different types of program. Some gonna like it, some not gonna like it. You have to try something out to see whether or not you're gonna like it. Each of us are different, we have different abilities. And just, just go for it. Just see what you have there. The water you're hearing back there is my aquarium. Said a lot of things that I'm doing with Procreate, I'm doing it freehand, freestyling. And you use uh, some of the little application, I have learned how to use it. It's pretty good. I'm about to use one right now, let you, you see how I'm actually gonna do it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go into uh, brushes. I'm going to go into textures. There we go. Use these little decibels right here. Rosettes. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to lighten this up. About, about to that right there, it's pretty close. And just see how it's gonna work for me. Here, blow this up a little more. And I'm trying to achieve that, that same uh, pattern right here. Let's see how it is. See like that? So I want a little 
little bit bigger than that. Let's see how that'll work. All I'm doing is just passing it on on that texture. I'm going relatively light with it. See, I know I can use some stuff with it, not too many more, but kind of self-explanatory. Pretty cool. come back again with my darker colors and I'm going to show you how I'm going to enhance that what I already have to make it look more defined you press slightly harder with the, the pin Now, what I'm going to do here, go back to the black. Well, you can actually pick it right here in the history. And I'm going to get out of this stone. Is that a stone? Go back to the airbrush. Soft blend. And uh, this area right here. Blended black, a little black. Hold on, increase pencil size to about, let's see, about maybe 9%. Let's see if that'll work for us. a little too hard. Yeah, this one here is more, a little, little much better. How about that? Come on, cross up in this section here. Just blend it out a little bit. See how it's beginning to take shape? But I am going to do this here. I need that sharp right in this section here. sharper like that
Okay, it's coming into shape. Now, what I'm gonna do, is go back to that brush size the texture there we go done done I'm gonna just pass it just slightly right up in here Take off the black, go back to that right there. Just lightly decrease the size a little bit. Get to square. A little better now. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, get back off of that, go back to airbrush, uh, soft blend. And now, go back to the white. And decrease it. These little highlights you have right here. See how it look? Just little simple things can just bring out your drawings. Light placement. How, how the light is going to reflecting off of a certain type of material. Just makes it work. And this is real time. And let's see what we got here. Oh, miss a spot. See that little piece right back there? Need to darken that up a little bit more. Dark blue. gray and I'm gonna take that out just how you take it out people okay it's out I told you you can't really mess up with this stuff you really can't you really can't mess up makes everything a whole lot easier and simpler.
getting there. It would take so long to do this here in oils or any other medium. It really would. Now going back to texture. There we go. And catch that top part right here. Let's see. Bigger. And this area right in here. Just to show that fabric, the definition of the fabric. Now let's see what we have. It's not too shabby. Now all that's left is to work on the spider itself and I should be finished. Again, I wanna thank everybody for watching Roosters Art on the Norman Lecoq and come back and thank you, bye-bye.